Hello, my ComCom students. It's Mr. Weaver. I hope you're having a great week. I assume you're watching this either Friday, sometime over the weekend, or Monday morning. Any of those is fine. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing in the next two and a half weeks, and specifically what we're doing this week. Uh, I will show you by going to Google Classroom. So if you have fifth period ComCom -com with me, you go here and there's the stream. Just ignore that and go to the classwork. Now, right now, these are not these are all in draft form, so you can't see them as I am doing the screencast, but eventually uh, you will be able to see it. So the assignments for 420 to 424 are right here. So it says, uh, for Monday, watch the screencast. That's what this is. Uh, Tuesday, you're going to brainstorm a topic. Uh, use the list of topics to help generate ideas. Do not feel bound to one of those Topics. Now, where are those topics? Good question. So here's what we're doing, folks. We are writing a persuasive letter to either Dr. Ramey or to Mr. Badenhop. You do not have to send them. You just have to write the letter. The goal is to work on your persuasive skills, specifically in writing. So here are some resources that may help you throughout this. One is a sample letter so you can see what kind of the finished product may look like. Here is a brainstorm sheet of topics. Uh, from which you could choose or you can generate your own topic. Remember, the letter is for Mr. Badenhop or Dr. Ramey. So you wouldn't be talking about something that they couldn't control themselves or they couldn't at least influence. So it needs to be school-related or something related to Oakwood. And then finally, here is the rubric categories. These are the uh, things that I'm going to be looking at in the final draft. Let me show you what each of these looks like. Uh, first of all, the sample letter. If you click on that, It'll look like this, and it shows you how it should look in the end. Uh, it shows you an introductory paragraph with a great claim here at the end. The claim is very specific with a preview. It shows you the three main arguments this pe person is making with a counterclaim, where it starts admittedly. This would give students less time to work. This is a counterclaim where you admit that there's another side, and then you attack it. And then a conclusion, sincerely, uh, which is your closing, and then I left the person's name off. This is a previous letter written back in 2018. So uh, feel free to look at this just so you can kind of see where you're going to be going. Uh, the other thing that I put on here is the rubric categories. So um, let's see here, brainstorm, sample, nope, nope, here it is, rubric categories. So you're going to get five points. This is for the final draft, five points for the formatting, etc. You can look at that so you kind of know how I'm going to be grading you. Uh, the other thing that I have in here is the a brainstorm. So I want to spend some time here. You need to decide by Wednesday and actually put online your what you want to do your uh, persuasive letter about and which side you are on. Okay, that's your position that you're taking. So let's say it says no gym with sports. Uh, some people think that if you uh, play a varsity sport or even a JV sport, you should not have to take a gym class or that could count as a, uh, a class for PE that it would uh, essentially substitute that. Uh, so some people think that's a good idea. Some people don't think that's a good idea. So you would write down your topic would be no gym with sports and you would write your position. You are for it or you are against it. Uh, people movers in hallway, I don't know exactly know what that is. That's from a previous student. Sleep in study hall where you are allowed to sleep in study hall or not. What policy would you prefer? Uh, some people, they need their extra rest and so they think study hall is a good time to do that. Others think you're in school, you shouldn't be sleeping. What's your position and why? Uh, adding a cafeteria to the West Gym. Somebody brought that up one time. And you can go through this list. Uh, I added one this year. Wednesday is off-site day at Oakwood. So since we've been doing so much off-site work, do you think this is a workable thing that we could work into the future schedule? If so, what day of the week? What would that look like? Would it just be for junior high and high school? Would that also be for elementary? That would make it a lot harder since those kids can't be home alone. So what is your, you know, you could do something like that. Um, and there are other, like grading scale change. Right now there's a committee deciding if maybe the grading scale could be changed. And if so, you would need to say why or why it shouldn't be changed. Again, you can say, here's something that someone else might want, and here's my position. My position is keep it the same. Could be keep the grading scale the same, and here's why. So um, these are some possible topics you could be thinking about. The pre-writing, okay, the pre-writing is, well, let me close that. That's the resources. It says, 
uh, write your topic and position for or against on the number one persuasive letter pre-writing sheet. Well, where's that? Well, if you go down here to number one, letter pre-writing, and you click on persuasive letter pre-writing, you are going to see this. So in this section here, you'll write your topic, okay, like changing the grading scale, your position. We should not change the grading scale. That's all it's due on Wednesday. I just want you to pick something. Now, I would recommend you go through this document and start thinking about what everything means. I'm going to do another screencast just on this particular document and you're going to see that on Thursday and then you're going to start you're going to have from Thursday until next Wednesday to fill this out so you have almost a whole week to fill this out and decide uh, how you're going to make your argument what the counterclaim is going to be your introduction and conclusion etc so I'm going to give you some instruction on that in a separate screencast so looking at the rest of the week then um, it looks like it's just working on that okay filling out the persuasive Letter pre-writing sheet, start filling it out Thursday, keep filling it out Friday. I don't have specifics of when each thing is due. Uh, some of you might do all of this in one sitting. Some of you, you're going to do a little bit per night. Uh, it's up to you, and that's fine with me. Uh, and then this down here, the persuasive letter final draft, you're not going to see that yet, but uh, you probably saw it. Uh, that's where you're going to post the final the final letter. Okay, so don't uh, you don't have to worry about that until we're done with the pre-writing next Wednesday. I hope you have a uh, wonderful day. If you have any questions, please email me. And um, I will be sending out again that other screencast about this uh, letter pre-writing thing uh, later. Okay. Uh, another thing that you can look at is uh, the just agenda for ComCom. And it looks like this. And it just basically says the same kind of things that I've been talking about. Uh, I gave that out at the beginning of the year. And uh, there is a link for it if you go to the bottom of the page. Under introduction, there's the class agenda and guidelines. So you can always click on that. It's right here, and it will show you uh, my agenda. So you can look at that anytime. Uh, but if you have any questions, again, email me, and I hope you have a great week.